Yeah, they hate you growing. The spies when you up, they dying to see you owing. They thought your future was dim, so they mad that you glowing. Finally reaping the shit that you was sowing. Yeah. Representing the high bridge section of the BXNY. Let's take a look at a smooth brother by the name of My Song, the General. My Song Lennon. Born May 16th of 1976 from the high bridge section of the Boogie Woogie, a MC, battle rapper, and pure hip-hop barbarian whose name has rung many bells in the music scene since 1997. From battles with the late great legendary likes of Big L and Rest in Peace DMX to signing with Chris Lighty's Violator Records, my song has never been a lyricist to take lightly. But it ain't just music that makes Mice a legend, it's also character, style, and a spine made out of steel. We got right here a real stand-up G. Salute, salute, salute. But check it out, y'all. Before becoming a super dope vocalist, as a youth, my song was super nice on the basketball court, B. Nice enough to play against the likes of Rafa Alston and Stephon Marbury at spots like the Rucker Park in Harlem, son. You heard? Raised in the high bridge section of the Boogie Woogie, there were many tough times, though. Drugs, guns, gangs, and violence. A twisted system and crooked cops creates a recipe for disaster. And Mice knows disaster as well as any G. And with the passing of his father when he was only 11 years old, Mice son, raised by his mother and grandparents on Miriam Street, had to become a man quicker than most. And he did. Briefly attended college where he looked to major in criminal justice for a few though, Mice had decided he'd rather chase his dreams of becoming one of the dopest MCs the Boogie Down Bronx has ever known. And he's nice with his son. Really nice with his son. Nice enough to grab the attention of representatives from Wanna Blow Entertainment and 9-7 and join their crew, which also featured Jay Mills. My song afterwards banging out fire mixtapes and hitting the streets to battle some of New York's illest. Big L, DMX, and even Sean Poe, the real bad boy himself, on the streets of New York City, making a great name for himself on the battlefield of hip-hop. My song also then signs a deal with Chris Lighty's Hip Hop, an R&B management firm called Violator and Def Jam Records. My song after that signing and buzz led to appearances on albums such as Mace's Double Up, Rough Riders Ride or Die Volume 1, Violator's compilation album, Violator, the album, and even DMX's The Great Depression. Talk about representing Rob. A major label debut album, Life Teachers and Reality Bites, was set to drop in 1999 with features from superstars like Busta Bust, Busta Rhymes, Q Tip, LL Cool J, and more. But life, well, life, life sometimes just happens. And his career wound up taking a major setback when he was convicted of two cap robberies that legend says he never even did. The first robbery happened in 1997 when a cab driver was robbed and hit with a beer bottle. The prosecutor also accused my son of a 98 robbery where another cab driver was robbed of a ring and cash at gunpoint. But my son the whole time maintained his innocence with his defense claiming he ain't had no reason to commit no robbery. He was too busy and too focused making money as a rising MC and writer who even wrote for the likes of the Queen Bee herself, Little Ken. Opinion, I don't believe he robbed anybody at all. And my son still claims his innocence to this very day, saying the cab driver was never robbed, but there was a physical altercation over cab fare where he felt he was being overcharged by $3. Now, my son was offered a plea deal of one year. In New York, we call a bullet, yet he pled not guilty and ended up blowing trial. Damn, mice, wish you would've took that bullet. But anyway, the jury found him guilty and he was sentenced to seven to 14 years in prison. Damn. See, life, sometimes, it just happens. However, my son was released from prison in July 2006 after serving seven years of his sentence. And since his release and uniting with his son, who he had left as a toddler to do that bid, my son has been putting major work for his family, the peoples, and hip-hop. 
Scouted by major music labels like Def Jam and Atlantic Records, Mice chose instead to stay independent, starting his own independent label, Universal Soldiers Entertainment, and has released several mixtapes and singles, and has done crazy dope work with features from artists like Cuban Link of the Terror Squad, with the Bang Bang Boogie, The Game, Rick Ross, and Chi Ali, among others. He's been featured on compilations by DJ K Slave, rest in peace, and Irv Gotti. Drop legendary freestyles like the joint we all peeped on Funkmaster Flex's freestyle series, been on DJ Vlad and the BET Awards. And on top of all that, son's been big in activism, man. A prominent social activist in his community and a major voice for real hip hop, my song brings awareness to the people and calls out all the bull spit in today's music industry, especially when it comes to hip hop. Always looking to move the culture forward in the right direction with positive yet strong and straightforward views from a real brother perspective. My song, always seeking peaceful resolutions and hip hop beefs like that beef between the game and Meek Mill and protesting against the criminal justice system. Most notably, he led a protest of the shooting of a mentally disturbed woman by the name of Deborah Dana. My song also mentors incarcerated youth through Harry Balafonte's nonprofit, The Gathering for Justice. From Black Lives Matter to boycott black murder, my song is on the field doing his best for the people, even when the people don't even see it. But yo, check it out. Hey, yo, mice, the real ones, we see you, boy. Keep doing what you do. We love you and God bless you. Toast to the kings and things. My song in general. Real life, real spit. No bull.